Hello and welcome to my 10 minute feel good workout routine. Now I'm a firm believer that all exercise and all movement is good for us, regardless of the intensity or the duration. And I've realized more than ever that just moving your body sometimes, even for 10 minutes is enough. And this workout is gonna do just that. Low intensity, low impact, we've got 10 exercises to do. We're gonna do 40 seconds on each move, we've got a 20 second rest, and I guarantee by the end of it, you're gonna feel energized, you're gonna feel happier, and it's gonna really set you off for a positive day. So first exercise, nice and simple. We're gonna squat down, so feet sort of shoulder width apart. We're gonna squat down, we're gonna pulse and stand up. So we pulse once and stand up. We're gonna do that for 40 seconds, then we're gonna rest for 20 before moving on to our next exercise. So here we go, three, two, one, let's go. So pulsing and standing up. So gentle pulse, nice straight back, keeping the weight in the heels as you stand up nice and straight. Perfect. Yeah, you don't have to be moving at 100 miles an hour, you know, heart racing, sweating, to still feel the benefits of exercise. And this little workout is gonna prove that. 10 minutes, in and out, 10 separate moves, with a 20 second rest between each one. So sitting down low, stand up tall, eight seconds on the clock, nice deep breath, straight back, keeping the weight in the heels, and, and we rest. Perfect, so that's our first move. Next up, we're gonna do some step up T openers, I call these. So we're gonna do a high plank position. So we're gonna step our foot in line with our hands. So left foot by left hand, and then open up the chest, forming a letter T. And then we switch, it'll be right foot by right hand, and switch. Here we go, 40 seconds, starting now. So take your time, it's not a race. Nice deep breaths, feet together. Step, open up the hips and the shoulders and chest but really getting that hand up nice and straight and switch. Perfect. Sometimes you just need a little 10 minute movement and then you sort of think, you know what? I've got a bit more energy now. You might go back for a bit more, but 10 minutes, you know, it's enough. It's enough to get your heart rate up, get your joints working and, you know, just pick up your energy. Open up the chest, last one. And relax, perfect. Okay, number three, we're gonna do a slow motion mountain climber. Now, mountain climbers obviously you think are really fast, but we can actually do them much slower and more controlled by just starting in this high plank position. And this is really gonna work the abs as well. So bring the knee up to the chest and kick out. Let's go, so knee to the chest, pause for a second, kick out. Knee to the chest, kick out. So it's not a race, you're not gonna pump in really fast. We're doing these nice and slow. Your shoulders and chest are going to work here, but we're really working our abs as well by bringing the knee up, pause, and out. Come on, stay strong, stay up if you can, keeping those elbows locked. Knee to the chest, and out. Last few seconds. And rest, oh, all oh, the shoulders nearly went then. Right, shake the arms off. Next up, we're gonna do number four. It's gonna be lateral lunges. So we're gonna step out to the side. So feet together in the middle of the mat. We're gonna step to the side, nice and controlled, bending that right leg, feet together. The left leg goes out, bend that left leg. Back to the center, and repeat, let's go. 40 seconds again. Nice controlled movement. You're gonna feel a stretch through the inside of that leg as well. So that's great, get a good stretch and work on the outside of that thigh. Well done. All right, keep it going. Nice deep breaths. We've got 20 seconds left on this one. And we're going to a slight sort of cardio move. So stepping out, good, nice and deep. Get as low as you can in that lunge and feet together. A couple more on each side. Five, four, Three, two, one, and relax, perfect. Okay, number five, we're now just gonna be in a standing position. We're gonna bring our knee up and across the body. So we're gonna sort of bring our knee to meet the elbow. So again, we're gonna feel that in your obliques and your abs, if you bring that knee up, and just go nice and slow, or as quick as you want. I'm taking it a bit easier. So nice straight back, and drive the knee up and across the body. Keeping that back nice and straight, perfect. So I do believe 
but sometimes if you're feeling a bit flat, 10 minutes is enough just to kind of pick up your mood for the day. Either a workout like this, going for a walk, whatever it may be, just do something. Just try and get yourself moving. Right, knee up, across the body, 15 seconds. Remember, it's only 10 moves. We're nearly there, this is number five. Up and across. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Right, recover. We're now doing something called a kick through. This is quite challenging. It's quite, a, um, quite an advanced move, but you can do it slowly. So we're gonna start in this position here, all fours. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring your foot through. So kick through, back to the center. Kick through, back to the center. So I'll show you from the side, front on. So you're gonna so you kick your foot through. Back and kick. Center and kick. It's quite challenging. It's working a lot of muscles, but a really good move. Kick. Back to the center. So I'm trying to sort of kick my leg out nice and straight, but without hitting the floor. Bring it back to the middle. Kick. Good work. Last 10 seconds on this one. You're doing really well. Keep it up. I know it's a difficult one. Kick through and rest. Really work on the triceps, especially the abs, working that. Great move. Next up, we're gonna do some push-ups. This is number seven. Now, if you can't do full push-ups, you can obviously do them on your knees. Um, just keeping your knees on the floor, bend the elbows if you can, chest the floor, and push up. Let's go, so chest the floor, and press. If you can't get all the way down, just focus on sort of a shallower half press up if you like. You are gonna get stronger. Eventually we have to get right down, chest the floor, full extension. That's good, come on. If you wanna make it really tough, bring the elbows, tuck them in, and do a military star push up so they really work the triceps. It's much harder than when the elbows are flaring out. Oh, that's it, good work. Last few reps. Ah, and rest. Perfect, right. We're now going to an abs exercise. We're going to be laying on our, flat, uh, on our backs, flat on the floor, and we're going to do a single leg crunch. So one leg, we sort of come up and bring our fingertips underneath the leg, and down. So inhale on the way down, exhale as you come up. Let's go. Fingertips to the floor, and then come up. Touch the hands underneath the leg. Well done. That's important with the breathing. You inhale the way down, so inhale. Exhale as you go up. That's it. Single leg crunches. Fingertips. Meet behind the leg. And the last few seconds. Get that breath, come on, exhale. It's really important to get all the air out of the abdomen to really get a full contraction. Right, we're going into another kind of um, core strength exercise too. This is a plank. Then we're gonna start in a plank position and we're gonna do our shoulder tap. So we're gonna be starting here and we're gonna tap left to right. Trying to keep your hips nice and square onto the ground so we're not gonna rotate and rock. Let's go. So left to right, touching the opposite shoulder. So I'm not trying to move my hips, I'm trying to squeeze my abs and my glutes to really keep everything stable. We've only got one more move after this. This is great, come and squeeze those abs. Keep it tight. That's it, good. When you, when you take the hand off, you've really got to feel everything tighten up to stop you from rocking. Right, five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax, perfect, right up we get. So look, that's nine moves complete. The final one, nice and simple, you've got options. We're gonna march on the spot, lifting your knees up. If you wanna make it a little bit quicker, a bit more intense, go in with a jog. So same thing, lifting the knees, 40 seconds. The last exercise, here we go. Come on, feel good workout. Lift those knees up. Go as slow as you want. You can obviously speed up. Whatever works for you, just push, let's go. 30 seconds left. 
Come on. Nice straight back. Knees up. Come on, last push. Let's speed up on that last. 20 seconds on the clock. Come on. You've done well, we're nearly there. Can we speed up for the last push? 15 seconds. Come on, straight back. Arms, pump the arms, lift the knees up. Okay, speed now to finish. Bit quicker. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax. And there you have it. 10 moves, 10 minutes. Nice and simple, look. No equipment either. That's the great thing about these workouts. It's body weight. You can do them anywhere, anytime. Just to lift your mood, lift your energy. I hope you enjoyed that session. Thanks for tuning in. And do come back soon for another workout. And um, have a great day. Thanks again. So this is ways to come during lockdown. Sometimes with the kids and Rosie, sometimes on my own. And it was probably the first time ever that I actually slowed down. I've always seen exercise as something that has got to be super intense. Just started doing 5K walks, 10K walks, like leaving my phone in the car.